Hi everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. We are in the game Subsistence, and this is now episode 53. Well, coming up to very early morning, sun's not up yet. I hadn't really noticed that the green lights in the sky, aurora lights, whatever they're called, basically are still there very, very early morning. Anyway, um, very cool. I, I basically want to show you something. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the wind turbines have decided to move house, and they've gone down to the front. Now, that's not their permanent position. I just wanted to... Oh, that was cool. <laughs> the sun's just peeking its head up over there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get them out of the way. So, this episode is meant to be about... Um, uh, power increase at the base, at this main base, and more or less starting the upgrade of the level 2. So, to do that, we moved these out of the way, and I started making, um, I have, have been for the last few episodes, here and there, just making a few more glass panels to start making this level 2. So the plan is, is to make level 2 all glass, or pretty much all glass, and then if there's a level 3, which there probably will be, it'll be back to timber again. But, um, I'm really just trying to set up a perimeter made of glass right around, so that's the, that's the main plan. Um, however, I have noticed, and I've had comments in the past about the ratio of solar panels to wind turbines, I really like having the nine wind turbines because they almost are generating one power on their own. Um, it makes more sense to have some more solar panels. So what I ended up doing, oh my goodness, it was a grind, I can tell you, but um, a few episodes ago I went and grabbed some more silica pearls. I found a few more, probably three or four or something just in the waters around here. But I ended up making another six solar panels, which is technically another 50% more power. So, because I've got 50% more power, I think that's going to make a huge difference, because on a good day, technically like today, these solar panels will end up producing a total of about one power. So if I can add another 50%, so there's 12 there now, another six, which I've just finished making, then that should really be producing 1.5, and that and that's quite a jump. So, um, unfortunately, I bled the silica pearls, so we're back down to four. Um, I have gone through some glass panels. I've gone through some metal ingots and quite a bit of adhesive. So there's a few things I need to replenish. That's you know without a doubt. Um, the mass is back to a hundred, the power is just sitting on a thousand, just over. Um, I've been going through as much material as I possibly can. Uh, not too bad with minerals at the moment. Um, I think this is day, 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 is it 217 or I think something like that. So it's, that ore outpost has probably got a reasonable amount of ore in it, so I'm going to have to go back down there fairly soon, maybe in the next three or four days. However, it's time to upgrade this base. So, in here, the bottom two rows have some glass panels, and I've got solar panels. I've got six of them, which is... Oh my goodness, yeah, it's just such a massive job <laughs> trying to grind for every piece of material that's needed. Um, now, the, there's, there's, a, there's a question here. Where on earth <coughs> do I put the solar panels? because I don't want them in the way. I've been thinking, maybe I can just put another row along here. That's probably the easiest. I think I can still put a wall along there, but let's just put them along here. I think I think that'll work pretty well. Um, okay. So we can do them back to back like this, I think. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, but you know me, my OCD and all gets in the way. Okay, so let's do that. There's two more. I mean, to be honest, it would be really cool. Um, 
at the end of the day to be able to look back at these and go oh wow look how much power it's now generating when it's in the middle of the day you know peak peak power so there's a number four of the new ones a little bit more space here should be a bit easier so this is number five say there yeah it's not actually that noticeable it's not really in the way quite yet eventually they'll be up on the roof a bit higher kind of thing <coughs> so what are they doing they're doing 0.05 so now there's 18 of them so that the solar panels uh, what are they generating 0.05 by 18 yeah so that's probably around 0.9 already so is the wind turbines they're dead still so this is basically all the power going in at the moment is just from the so 0 0.97 so as they're ramping up so that would be interesting to see if how high it grows like obviously the sun's starting to you know get higher and higher in the sky so at the moment with no wind yeah I'll, yeah I'll, I would definitely say there's absolutely no wind at the moment they're barely even turning um, it's doing 1.13 at the moment so what I would love to see is for that power in to reach 1.5 and I'm pretty confident it should because I'm certain I have seen the the solar panels during you know closer to the middle of the day ramp up to about one and now there's 50% more of them it should be getting close to 1.5 so 1.13 that that is awesome if I can get it that high yeah see at the moment they're only doing 0 0.06 which is great and like you said you know you saw down there 1.13 power just from that but that's certainly not their peak where is the sun oh it's up fairly high I don't know if the game actually takes into account shadows there's actually no shadow on it there at the moment and the sun's only going to go across the sky that way so yeah it would definitely be getting higher and higher as the day goes on anyway what I might do continue with the base upgrade the glass walls and we'll come back and have a look and see how much higher our solar panels get um, first things first I might just fix these up I need a bit of food and water um, I have been going through a bit I must say Grab a couple of onions, a little bit of water. Let's refill that. Oh, another thing too, I did have... Um, I've got medicinal plants in here at the moment, but I did have um, cotton. And I harvested basically all the cotton. Have a look at this. This is where my cotton's gone to now, look at that. So I've got a hundred spare cotton at the moment, so I don't I think we're gonna be pretty right for winter. <coughs> um these guys they all need or well, most of them do need a little bit of cotton to be repaired and so on. So that makes sense. I feel um you know that warm and cozy feeling in your survival games when you know you've got enough resources to fix things, that's what makes me feel good about that. And winter's not far away. Um notice by the way, top left hand corner where it says sixteen degrees October look at what symbols missing hmm we are now out of moose season so we should be able to go and tackle the male moose a lot easier I probably could have tried tackling them just to see what it was like but I didn't um, I went through an awful lot of biofuel but have a look at this still have 410 biofuel I think I was getting up to low to mid 500s so I went through about a hundred um, biofuel uh, with the mass fabricator over here trying to push mass to 150 because that's what it costs each time to make a solar panel <laughs> so it's like oh my goodness anyhow all right let's go grab some glass panels so we've got all the curves all the straights and a door yeah there's my 50 um, alloy sheets still so I was making some I'll show you that as well I uh, got up to 33, so I'd like to be at 100, then we can upgrade the front of the base. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm having fun playing the game this way, but yeah, everyone will play it differently. 
we'll get hunters in pretty soon. Um, okay, so I wanted to put a glass door just here. Ta-da! The whole second level's finished. No, no, not 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 quite, Trev. Not quite. Um, all right. So I was, and I also, by the way, <laughs> I keep rem remembering things. Um, this this panel here that I'm standing on just here, uh, I just added it. So there's there's really nothing under here, uh, unlike the other side. So if I look on this side, see how there's like a little. Um, I think before when I made it, I was actually referring to it as almost like a little pillbox. Remember how I said um, I wanted to leave it there so I could shoot the hunters if they came to this side of my base? And this side's kind of a bit different because I've got this area. Hmm. Not sure how that's going to go with the hunters, whether they'll run around the edge perhaps and then try throwing molotovs or something. I, I don't know. I don't know until we test the AI, I suppose. And it's kind of fun doing that anyway. Alright, <clears throat> so, that's the curved shape that we wanted, which is absolutely fantastic, that's what we wanted. Um, we'll throw another couple up here, so it continues the, the look. So that's one on that side, one on this side, and then these straights, I thought I'll do this side, I'll just get it done, kind of thing. There you go. And don't forget, if you want to, you, you can still move all the walls and stuff around as long as you've got somewhere else to put them, I suppose. It's a very big area. And the final one is this corner. There you go. I mean, when you put something like that up, these leaves that blow through, I keep thinking someone's throwing something at me. Look, see? <laughs> Crack off! <laughs> And leaves. Let's have a look from here. Yeah, it does look really different, doesn't it? So, timber base. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to distinguish the curves in the glass exactly, but I suppose it gets gets better as you move up. But at least this entire level being glass, which is kind of what I'm trying to make, means I have like almost a 360 degree panorama view, I suppose. And I'm hoping it's far enough back so that when the hunters attack they don't do too much damage to the glass. I mean, you can always repair it, I suppose, but... Oh, I just thought of something. See where the veggies are in there? That's open to the weather, and it wasn't meant to be enclosed, so if... how I wonder how good the hunter's arms are, because if they're up near the rocks here, can they actually throw a Molotov... Actually, they could be in the water and still throw it. End up with one in, in amongst my veggie patch. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear. Oh, okay, the sun's almost at midday, so we'll have a look at the solar panel generation. What's it doing? Okay, so it's doing 0 .08. 0 0.08. Nothing's happening on the wind turbines. So how close to 1.5 is that going to be now? Oh, it's gone past it. As long as my eyes aren't deceiving me, that looks a heck of a lot like 1.61. No, 1.62. No, 1.61. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. Kind of a bit better than I was thinking. You can see the power really marching up at the moment. So yeah, say it's 1.6. So it's kind of about, on average, 1.3 above what's been pushed out. And at the moment, it's just one mining drill here doing um, 0.19, and the fridge will be doing 0.11. So... Yeah, there was always this question on the back of my mind. What happens if you put a second mining drill and you have a second fridge? Because that means instead of it chewing 0.3, it'll constantly be chewing 0.6. So there you have it. Um, how much power do you need to be able to sustain two fridges and two mining drills, hey? Hmm. And still be able to build things and whatnot. So, I th yeah, it's a lot. 
I mean, I, I don't know. M like, maybe eventually I'll end up with a dozen wind turbines. See, now they're starting to help a little bit. Can't exactly say there's a storm coming, but that's got a bit of wind happening now at the same time. So what are they doing? 0 0.2 each or something? 0 0.02? Yeah, 0 0.02. So like, 0.18, almost 0 0.2 is coming in just from these things running, kind of thing. I always thought the solar panels did a bit more than that though. I'm pretty certain I've seen them at about 0.09 or... Yeah, I'm sure I did. Anyway. Um, that 1.6 is obviously coming from getting a hand from the wind turbines at the same time. Yeah, I guess so. The wind's picked up and the, and the, and the sun's not as direct on the solar panels because it's becoming a bit cloudy. Okay. Look, if it, if it sits around 1.5, then I think that's a, a huge positive thing for the base. So... What's next then? Um, I feel like I would like to continue this glass frame and then work out a way of being able to get on the top of this area. So if this is the last area that's glassed, it may end up being the first area that has a timber, f timber set of walls around it up the top and then a roof put on it it's possible that these solar panels might be in an array above this area um, and then this main area here could even have a fourth floor and if it does whatever becomes the very top floor I think that's probably where I'll start pushing the wind turbines um, it was a bit of an effort just to kind of you, you, you know you can't move them directly from here over there You've got to kind of put them down halfway and then take them a bit further, so it's kind of a bit, a little bit of a pain. Um, you know, you're holding down the N key to move them. Um, kind of takes a little bit of time, so it's not, not that straightforward, I guess. Okay, well, I've got to make more of these panels, the glass panels, and the curved ones take seven glass panels, and the straight ones take six. So I've got a little bit more in the way of resources to collect. Probably do a little bit more off camera, but I'll do a little bit more now. Um, so my adhesive went down a bit. Um, so over here, when I make adhesive, I normally make six at a time. So we kind of need to take eight from there. So that's 18 in total. We need 300 ash and 24 biofuel. 300 ash. Uh, let's take 14 from there. So that. So if I use up all that in, in terms of those resources I just collected, that should give me six lots of five adhesive so every time I do one of these it'll make five so that's 30 yeah so that basically should give us what 87 it's 57 at the moment so it'll push that back up to 87 um, need to make more ingots need to make more glass panels this is what gets a bit tricky, because have a look at this. If I count, I've got, just in terms of straight walls here, one, two, three, four, five, I think five, I've counted that right. Then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and a curve. Hmm. <laughs> so that's six glass panels per straight, which is, say, for example, 72. Another 7. Well, 79. So let's just say I need about 80 more glass panels. Uh, yeah. It's not cheap. It takes quite a while. So if I need 80, I'm almost halfway there. Wow. Yeah, that, that is a lot. So every time I make 6, it needs 24. I'll show you. Here we go. If I take out 24 uh, glass fragments, you know, which I've got a, I've got a fair few, 
Um, can I do a glass panel? It uses four for each one, so then I just do six. So, so it chews through 240 electricity, but it chews through also 60 mass. So every time, it's almost like, because the mass is free, it's slow, but it's free generating up to 100. So every time it gets to 100, you might as well, if you've got enough resources, keep using it to, to, to push um, some products out. That's how I've been looking at it. I'm pretty certain everyone else does the same thing, but anyway. Okay, all good. Um, again, I need to refill these, so I'm basically just doing housework at the moment. Um, is that enough water? It always worries me that it's not enough water. Um, by the way, I carry I carry some ash in here, in this one here, um, as a bit of a standby, but most of it for the gardening is out here, so you can see there's a fair bit of fertilizer, some potassium, lots of ash, and so on. So, hang on, where are we up to? What do we need? A piece of meat. Let's do a liver. Um, an onion. And maybe a potato, that'll get us up fairly high. Alright, all good, we just need to fill up our water again. Hey, actually, what I might do is just sneak onto the roof for a sec. I just want to see. So, the wind turbines are going fairly quickly because there's a storm on. It's doing 1.37, and I think that's really because now the wind turbines are the major power source. Uh, the solar panels, not so much. Even though there's 18 of them, how, how, what are they doing? Just doing three. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of almost like having... Mm, I don't know. If it's a sunny day, then these things absolutely rip into the power for you, but... You know, when they're only doing 0.5, then all of a sudden these wind turbines, there's nine of them, certainly make it a lot easier for my calculations if I had 10. <laughs> so, okay, so it's doing 0.72. So at the moment, the wind turbines are generating 50% more power than the solar panels, even though there's twice as many solar panels. So it just depends on what the weather's doing, of course. All right. Well, that's a, that's a reasonable chunk um, of base upgraded. So what's it doing? It's got 133 in and only... Oh, okay. I was just thinking I might get this thing to keep going. Um, we'll just th throw these back in here. You know, I'm, I'm actually probably still in positive. It's still generating power, but much slower, obviously, because it's using another 0.75. So 1.32 in, 1.05 out. Yeah. I just think in general, the more power options, you know, the more wind turbines and the more solar panels you can get running, the easier it is going to be to be able to um, produce some kit, you know, you, you need so much stuff in building a decent subsistence base, it's quite amazing how much of a grind and whatnot. I like the glass panel look though. I'm not sure, I don't, I highly doubt I'm going to have this level finished before winter hits. But that's why we've kind of got this temporary little box here, because we can just close everything up. And then come out here when we can. All suited up, ready for doing work outside when it's, you know, freeze your butt off cold, I suppose. Yeah. Alright. Well, I like it so far. It'll be a bit more grind again off camera. Uh, like I said before, very, very soon I'm going to head down to the ore outpost base in the next few days. And see if I can grab a... A few more ore. I've still got a reasonable amount there. 25, 21, 21. Got a lot of potassium here. Kind of not using it that much at the moment. And look at the sandstone. You know, we often talk about this whole thing of having um, lots of spare sandstone so you can make lots of glass fragments and in turn make glass um, panels. But, oh man. Anyway. Well, I reckon that's pretty good. That's uh, an extra upgrade to the base in terms of power, and we've started on our level 2 in terms of glass. Fantastic. Alright everyone, I'm going to have to leave the episode here, and I'll do a bit more grinding off camera, and 
see if we can come back and continue on that level 2 which will look fantastic when I get it all finished alright everyone if you've liked the episode and you'd like to help and support the channel then go ahead and smash that like button for us if you'd like to help even more and subscribe to the channel that would be fantastic and in turn you'll be notified when new videos pop up alright everyone thanks so much cheers